what's um, you know what your potential motivation of blocking for a guy like uh, like Adrian Peterson? Yeah, and it's fantastic. You know, he's he's had a hell of a career, and you know, it's really uh, exciting to be able to block for a guy like that and uh, come in. You know, he's he's been great. He came out to dinner with us last night. Uh, you know, run our offense and, and play ball. Pete. Excuse me. Pete. I forget who this week it was. It was at uh, Taylor's house. So. Uh, it's not. We don't know whether Vaughn Miller's going to play yet or not. But what kind of challenges does somebody like him present while on the same defensive front as Aaron Donald? Yeah, he's an elite, an elite player. You know, one on one, uh, the best of our generation. Um, it's going to be a, an awesome challenge if he's in there and playing. I expect that he will be. Uh, go out there and play ball, and, and uh, that, let's go. What about the? I mean, they're prone to the hold, not just him, but but obviously they got some other guys who produce. What, what's the challenge for you guys this week? They have, they have a very talented front, um, good defense, guys that play play all over the place, play hard. Um, uh, you know, Donald, Vaughn, all, all, all those guys are, are uh, you know, really good players, and it's going to be a, a great test for us. Have you had a chance to talk to Derek? And, and I guess what's kind of the feeling at the start of the week when you lose him? I know you got to move on, but how tough is that to deal with for you guys? Uh, it was it was a blow. I, I said probably the the hardest part was in the locker room um, in Indy after that game. That was when we finally did find out the news. That was tough, just because he. Uh, He's so competitive. He works so hard. You know, he was on pace to do a lot of special things, and um, you know, he was he was pretty emotional as a lot of guys were. Brain. There's been a lot of talk about how this is a long season with the 17th game. Uh, do you maybe tweak your schedule through the week to to maybe help uh, make sure you're ready from uh, for that final game January 9th? Uh, you know, you definitely got to focus on on recovery. That's a big that's a big part of you know being able to play a weekend. We got in this league, but uh, for me, it's always just focused about the next about the next game. Be be completely 100 percent in to play your best ball just the next week. Does it help that the buy for this team is December second? Kind of maybe give a chance for a refresh for the final stretch. Yeah, I mean, a late buy, mid season buy, whatever. Like it, you know, the bye week is the bye week. It's a chance to get get your body right, and get rest. Um, and then, you know, final push for the, for the season and, and, and playoffs. You guys are like 12 and 3 maybe in your last 15 on the road. Any um, you know, particular rhyme or reason to that? That's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, you know, we got a gritty team. You know, we, we, we come to play no matter where it is. You know, we do our best, play physical, our, our brand of football, no matter, no matter where it is, whether it's in Nashville or, you know, around the country. You guys are in obvious passing down situations with two guys like Donald and Miller. How can they kind of? How how do you guys kind of expect them to come after you? And Miller? Are they going to be on one side of the formation together? Do you think they'll spread them out across the front? We'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, you know, I, I expect we'll probably get sometimes on on either side, sometimes on the same side. I think they're going to mix it up and, and hit us with a lot of different things. Uh, we got to be ready for whatever they whatever they bring. You. You mentioned the mood after the Colts game in the locker room. How much did the energy and kind of the mood pick up this week, especially with the addition of, of Peterson? Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. You know, it really is exciting. You know, everybody's very, you know, heartbroken and bummed about Derek, but um, we understand where we're at as a team. And if we want to uh, get get Derek back rolling and, and, and doing the things that he does, you know, we still got to go out there and play well. For for you know this team and, and get him back and, and so he's he's rolling when he does come back. How much did, how much did things change for the for the group? I guess go from Derek who's carrying the load and now potentially Adrian, and Deontay, and Jeremy. I mean, is there is there is, is there an adjustment there in dealing with with different backs and different styles and is that kind of yeah absolutely it? it's subtle it, you know Derek runs like Derek and nobody else runs like him so there's 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 little things here and there just the way you know Derek might hit it is different than. The way Adrian might hit it, so we, you know, definitely there's some there's some gelling that's going on there, and, and we're learning about him, and he's learning about us. So that's uh, but I, I enjoy that part of, of football, you know, really having everybody's different styles kind of coming together and you know find, finding a rhythm. Does it help the whole chemistry process, like you mentioned last night, uh, everybody going to, to, to eat together? Does that, I mean, I know it's not on the field, obviously. Does that help? Just I think so. I. I um, I always thought the best teams were also the ones that were the closest, you know, the, the best best kind of camaraderie. Uh, and you know, O line dinners are a big are a big part of that. You know, just kind of spend. You gotta 
put the work in, you know, kind of outside of the building and stuff to really know who you're playing with and and, and get that time together. So I really enjoy it online dinners. And... You guys uh, uh, eating wise? Or... Yeah, yeah, he can, he can, he can hold us on there too. <laughs>